What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're getting a little bit of an upgrade. Now, a few months ago, I unboxed the 120 inch projector screen by Silver Ticket and it's great. I absolutely love it and it has changed my movie slash TV experience tenfold. I'd never want to project on a wall again. It's absolutely terrible. But since posting that video, I got the attention of, I believe their competitor, Elite Screens, and they said, hey, you really like that screen, huh? Well, how about an upgrade? And I was like, okay, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> now, Elite Screens, they have a huge line of projector screens and all types of really cool stuff for projectors and home theaters, even outdoor theaters, presentations. So Elite Screens, they offered to send over their Eon 120 inch screen. Now this one is pretty much a borderless projector screen, which that is awesome. Now, obviously I don't have it in here because it's way too big. Um, so let's get that delicious time-lapse footage rolling. Let's do it. Now the construction of this was way easier than the silver ticket screen. The silver ticket screen, you had to run these rods all the way down the lining of the screen and that was kind of a pain. This is held on by only Velcro, so it made it way easier. Now after putting the frame together, which was only held on by some screws and a couple L brackets, I took a moving blanket and put it underneath it to protect the screen, but then you lay the screen out, you set the frame on top and attach it with the Velcro. Now at this point, you're pretty much done. You don't even need to put on the frame if you you don't mind the little bit of metal that shows on the corners, you don't even have to bother with it. Then you'll have just a borderless picture, but it does look a lot classier. So I did go ahead and put on the border frame. Now on their website, they have an option to choose the LED strip, but I actually had a couple of old sets of LED strips in my garage that I pulled out. It actually took longer to put the lights on than it took me to actually construct the whole screen. But overall, the results are amazing. As you can tell, it looks really good. The imperfection of the LEDs actually added a little aesthetic to it that I really, really like. It's pretty unique in the fact that you can't just buy LEDs that are burnt out. Now the image came out really sharp. It looks good in daylight, but it especially looks good at nighttime. The lights look so good that it's actually nice just to have it on just for a little light ambiance. But I love the upgrade. I love the size of the border. It's way smaller. The screen material, it's almost soft and kind of fluffy. It's got a little stretchiness to it. I really like the way this thing came out and you can see it's pretty big, uh, you know, and the LEDs are completely optional. There are a lot of options on Amazon. This one actually comes with a pretty cool remote. So you can get it to strobe, single color. You can do a rainbow strobe. All right, but there you go. Overall, I think it looks really good. It's a nice little touch to a living room or any other space. Definitely go check out Elite Screens. If you're really wanting to do a serious upgrade, they have motorized versions. If you're more into presentations, they've got a very good selection. A selection that's even far beyond the standard home theater style. Really, will you quit doing that? That's not the screen, it's the laser projector. It thinks I'm in the way. It's trying to protect my eyes. Either way, guys, that is it. I'm gonna leave links down in the description below. I highly suggest checking out Elite Screens if you're looking to upgrade your home theater. But I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here.